Oh my goodness. This floor looks fantastic. It's the exact look we were going for. I mean, you can still see the grout lines, but it's a very muted effect. We want it to just kind of be soft. Same thing with the shower. It looks great. Can't wait to get it all cleaned up, grout caulked. Still need to take care of the floor. Do a little clean up there, but we'll show you some pictures of that later today. Next step is to just wipe down the floor one more time and install brown paper so I can start on the walls. So let's get going. Floor is covered, ready for primer and paint. So I feel comfortable. I can, I can get a couple drips and some splatter on there and not have to worry about messing up the tile. Um, I still do need to paper the shower. It's gonna take me like five minutes, but I'm gonna run to lunch. So I thought I'd give you a quick update before lunch. And then we have uh, the drywall we need to take care of. So I'm gonna get my new sander out by Wen, W-E-N. Um, good little product I got off of Amazon. Um, it was under $200. It's a power drywall sander with dust collection. Uh, it is great for the money. I don't do drywall a whole lot, so it should last me a good long time. This is the Win 6963 drywall sander. You can get a shot of that model number for you. Um, like I said, I got it two jobs ago. I've used it on two jobs and it's fantastic. I, I, I purchased it for a um, rather decent sized basement job. And I'll tell you what, it was almost zero dust. Um, the only time you get dust is when you lift it up or go uh, on an outside corner. Um, it will kick up a little bit of dust, but it's, it's nothing. I mean, it's less than hand sanding, a little small patch. Um, it does come with an extension. So this basement that I had was a nine and a half foot ceiling. So that came in handy. It has a shoulder strap. So the weight comes off of your uh, arms as you're going up higher. Um, but it's a really fantastic model. Um, purchased a bunch of different um, sanding discs for it. I don't know what I need. So I never, never use it before. So I got 240, 180. And then it came with a pack of 60, 80, and 120. I think I used 120 at the other project. Um, it seemed to be somewhat aggressive, but the nice thing is about uh, this model is it does have a variable speed for you. So uh, I'll put a link in the description. Again, I didn't look it up last night. I should have, but I think it's around 150, 180. So it's under $200 for this sander. And it's actually really well built and has great reviews. It attaches right to the shot back. Now I do need to get an adapter for my shot back because they're both the same size. So I just need to get a coupler. Um, but for now, and this little shot back is, is sufficient for um, a small job like this. On the larger job, I used a two-stage uh, vac with a cyclone system. So it collected the dust, doesn't clog up your filter, um, and it runs a, long, a lot longer for you. So uh, get to the sanding part now. It took about 10, 15 minutes to do. I really only took about 10. I was just messing with the cords and whatnot as I was going through. Um, it's all sanded except for the corners. The corners have to be hand sanded. It doesn't quite reach in the corners. And this outside corner, I'm gonna hand sand because I did not want to take the sanding pad over the corner and kick up dust. That's the other thing is, guys, there's, there's no dust in the air. And you can see, there's, there's nothing in the air. Um, it did leave a little bit of dust down here, um, but that's as you get down close. Sometimes it just lifts up just a little bit. I got a little bit, but there's nothing in there. That's, that's it. That's the dust that this system kicks up. You can buy more expensive models, but this is, this is great for what I use. Great for a you know, DIYer, 
um, doing it, you know, your own basement. It'll save you so much time, air filters, all kinds of stuff. I recommend you get it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a couple of spots that I missed. I did miss down here. I do have the transition uh, corner beads uh, for here, which end up looking like that when they're done. I do, you know, I'll touch up on these as well. But it allows you to install uh, the base without um, having to do funky miters around a round over. Um, you can just do a standard, uh, you know, a miter cut on it. So I'm excited about that. Um, little hand sanding in here. These patches for the toilet paper holder and a towel rack was at, aren't that big of a deal. And got all this sanded. So yeah, I'm gonna probably prime this mural today, get the, drywall, the rest of the drywall patches uh, going. I did when I um, ended up putting in the tile and cutting the um, clips in, I ended up marring up the wall a little bit up here. So I'll put a little guards on top of that and then skim coat that as well before I prime and paint. And a little spot down there I need to, need to fix. But other than that, it's ready to go. So tomorrow, Hopefully today and tomorrow, I should have this entire thing painted. Oh, good morning, TNT family. Look at this. <laughs> That's the reason why you actually put paper on the floor. Had a little bit of a an accident. It was not really an accident. There was just drips in the bucket when I was pouring it and I set it down there and it got on the paper. But hey, that's what the paper's for, right? So drips and spots and splatters, all that stuff is on the paper and on my tile. Hey, remember that uh, mural that was up here? Look at this. Covered up nicely. I did have to do three coats on the darker areas and, you know, and I'm going to have to skim coat this. I was afraid of it. I, I, I kind of planned for it. But hey, you can see where these lines are at, where they did the painting, brush strokes. So I am just going to hit it with the light, light skim coat and sand it and then prime it. And that's what I'm going to concentrate on today, guys. It's going to be a boring video. I don't know if I'll just add this to the next one um, for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm going to work on patching all this drywall stuff. I need a patch. So I'm going to get the corners up, get all these little places that need a little TLC, prime it, patch it. Just make everything look right, real nice and crisp and, and clean. So that's what we're going to work on today is getting these walls to perfection. All right, guys, I have this transition here I need to put in. It goes from the square corner bead to a round corner bead. This allows me, again, to install base trim uh, and just do a 90 miter, uh, which is kind of nice. So the easiest way to do this is to use a stapler. And uh, I use um, the Surebond stapler, picked it up at Menards. The nice thing is, is you can do it trigger or you could do it normal. Normal would be if I just squeeze this, it's gonna fire a staple. This way, I squeezed it, but now the trigger is actually what causes it to engage the staple. So now it's set in place, do it again, down here, make sure it's flat. Again. So the nice thing is about the triggers, you normally have to be over here trying to get it in with, at an awkward position where I could just click it, put it in position, fire away. So now that's secure, probably put another staple or two in it and do the other side, add a little bit of a, a filler piece on this side as well as this side over here and uh, mud it up.
Uh, ended up having to sand these things a couple times, several coats of mud to try to layer up and, and get everything looking smooth. Ended up doing that repair up there, turned out pretty nice. Still may have to do a finished coat. Well, I'm gonna do some sanding today, get some more primer on and start painting. Just made to stop it. Sherwin Williams, got all the paint, so we're ready to go. Start painting this bad boy, see what we have. What a day, sweating it up, even though it's only like 55 degrees or something like that, silly outside today. Still a beautiful spring here in Illinois, if there ever is one. Never tell what's gonna happen, it was snowing two days ago, flurries yesterday. Anyways, paint looks pretty good. Uh, again, sorry for the lighting, had to take those fixtures down so I could uh, paint everything. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty even, I mean, you can't really tell where the mural was at. I think I got most of the lines out. I'll look over it on Monday once all this is dry and even. I still do have some cut work up top. A few didn't have a tall enough ladder, so I'll hit that Monday as well. Just got the confirmation call. Countertops are being installed Monday between 9 and 10. Excited about that. So I'll just work around those guys. We'll get that on video as well. All right, guys, I'm out of here for the weekend. Just cleaned up, got a load up the truck, and then I'm gone. <laughs>